full swag souffle. Like 80s aerobic. That's super the step up. The 80s step up. Yeah. Yeah. Two chairs be trying to make people spin the bag. <laughs> $1.8 million for a jacket. And that one buttery, soft, delicious leather you've ever seen in your life. Wow. That's a yeah, record. That's exactly. actually a world record. For Is it? It's stage war and rock and roll clothing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, um, this purple, <laughs> I got a good idea who this belonged to. Yeah, this is Prince. I mean, he had every piece of clothing he ever wore practically custom made. And this he wore with Lenny Kravitz during a performance at Paisley Park in 1999. Wow. Hey, 1999. Yeah. Julian's is going to sell this. Uh -huh. The estimate on this is forty to 50000 Who knows? Just, this is your size, Jesse. You sure you can squeeze that? I lay off legs for a little bit. I can make that work. <laughs> I think it stretches. It's a spandex material. Kelly swag, man. I love you in this. I love you in this. I just love you in this when they really send you up. I love you in this. I really love you in this. <laughs> I need some extra taco it meat on the chest. Please. Oh, that's taco meat heavy. That'd be right. And the way this flavor, that's also got kind of pleated in the front. You oh, really like it. What do you do once you spend forty, fifty thousand on a on a stage worn outfit by an iconic artist? The answer to that question is about it's different for really? every purchaser. I, nah. There are people who really have purchased things to wear them. I've seen people with them on mannequins in their house. That's what I'm wondering. It gets borderline creepy, like a lifelike mannequin. Somebody can, yeah. like, I can't I'll get a real, like, a, like a replica of Prince Bro. with, like, the silicone Bro. skin. Nowadays, Man. everybody's making the damn doll. Bro, I just stuff. did this episode, bro. Hey, bro, I did an episode. This is really some far out stuff we got, bro. It's some deep stuff going on. There actually was a collector who already had the mannequin made. With the hairstyle. Right. Know. I'm guessing there's a little puts the lotion in the basket somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it gets, gets a little crazy. pretty quickly. Mm. I can see Jesse yep. killing this. Secret. Mm. Me. I'm looking at something like this. Really? Oh, man, I can see me doing True. this. Three quarter length is back in style. We're going into a dad phase. So I may give it up. Dad jeans. A, 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 a dad look. A little Seinfeld jeans and touch. Yeah. Them. Oh, 
<laughs> well, if you were going to guess which one's the most expensive here. I go oh, Mike. Yeah, I'm Mike. Mike. I'm going to go Mike. I'm going wrong. Mm, really, Jimmy? That one sold for 32000 back in November of 2017. What? Yeah, because there's there are a lot of thriller jackets. But did he wear that on stage? Yeah. So, there's a lot so of, his sweat is in here, his DNA. His DNA is sweat. For 30000 You can see the wear and tear. But, but, but. It's red on it. What's that? What's that? That looks like O, O negative. Dude, that's the definition of blood, sweat, and tears. Right. It's hard to prove a Hendrix. You need pictures. And that's why this one did so well. It did 106,000. Where's the picture? Well, well there's that? a photograph of him wearing this while he was recording. Are you experienced? Alexa. Alexa. Alexa, is this the shirt from London? What the, the colors? We don't have those Jimi Hendrix photos available for legal reasons. Also, I'm not Alexa. I'm Dottie. The voiceover artist on your show. What's my split when I give you some classes? Yeah, 10%. Okay. 10% of what? It's the commission. Anybody can put their stuff in there. This is two chains. Drinking straw. He drank out of this straw one day after leg day. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Well, you guys seem to like the Prince one so much. I have a little surprise for you. That little light Prince on the motorcycle swag. Under the Terry Moon outfit? Under the Terry Moon that he wore in 1986 for the film. This one's also coming up for sale at Julian's. Let me just show you what the back of the jacket looks like. Yeah, that's yours. You're going to rock it real short in the back. Okay, so, so you can see my tramp stand. Yeah, you know about that? The 90s, it was a crazy time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What would the auction start this with? This is a ten to twenty, ten to twenty thousand dollars. Yeah. It's not reasonable, man. Yeah. What would you call this group if you was the lead singer? All right. Quick, you got five seconds. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> moisture. No, moisture. No, that is the, the worst. The moisture five. <laughs> no. Everybody's hair is oh, <laughs> slightly wet. Oh, we got, no. we got. Who knew this guy thinks like this? You know what I mean? Listen, people, there's no script here, right? So we got the lead singer of Damp, and we got uh, the drinks guy right here coming soon to a concert hall or venue near you. Mm, true.